Hey, this is Ash from All Things Dentistry. Ever want to know the secrets that endodontists use to get down complicated canals? Well, look no further. Check us out at allthingsendo.ca where you'll find those secrets to unlocking your endo potential. Hey, this is Ash from All Things Dentistry, the place where we're passionate about sharing those unwritten hints and tips in dentistry. Well, today we're going to talk about sterilizing your gutta percha. I had a long drawn out video prep, but whoop, look at that. Now, <laughs> just spilled some, but what's important about that is that in preparation for this video, I was like, what is it? What is the per the percentage or the concentration of this bleach? And I was like, well, let's just take a look online. Turns out, I thought it was 5.25, but now I'm not giving you the finger. It's just my other fingers coated and it's 7.4%. So at the end of the day, you got to check to make sure that you know exactly the percentage of the hypochlorite that you're using. And if it's expired, the reason why it's in this fabulous white container is because it will break down with light so if you're you know you never know how old this is i've gone into some practices where it's been underneath the sink for a couple years and i might as well you're not even doing any what's the efficacy of your root canal if you're using expired hypochlorite anyway so the the point of the first video this is take five was that you we all need to sterilize they call it sterilizing but um, disinfect our gutter percha points with sodium hypochlorite. Then the other next layer on that is that there are little crystals to form. And you know what? I couldn't get the crystals to form in this video. I tried and tried in this. I'm prepping for like a hundred, you know, a 50 canal molar here. But we, um, I couldn't, but there are crystals that form and I've actually had gutter percha points. And if I find them, I'll post them in the, in a story that after I've sterilized, they call it sterilized. I don't know. I've disinfected my gutter percha points with, Sodium hypochlorite, and I've got a couple articles in the description box below. Go ahead and read it if you're actually, you know, interested in it. You can't use just regular isopropyl alcohol to disinfect your gutta percha points because there still probably is maybe some spores or whatnot that are still on them. And we want to make sure that before we put anything back into the our fabulous disinfected canal space, we want to make sure that it's completely anything we go back in, that goes back in there, it's disinfected at least at a minimum. So what you can do is soak your, you know, soak your gutta percha points for at least a minute in your container of sodium hypochlorite, and then rinse them off with some alcohol or at the minimum or distilled water. You'll see in the articles, if you take a look, you know, put in the comments below, take a look at some of these articles. I won't put many because it can get pretty boring. Um, so you can rinse it off with some even distilled water or isopropyl alcohol alcohol to get rid of these little crystals that form on there. Now, the real question that I ask, I don't know the answer to is, do the crystals even matter? Is it more important to disinfect than to, and have crystals than to not disinfect and not have crystals? Anyways, that's my point for today. The last thing is, is if you've got a curved canal and you're trying to get your gutta percha points around it, you know, sometimes what happens is you curve your, your gutta percha to put it in your to get it around that little curved canal and the darn thing straightens. You know, it's like, look at this, like a noodle. What you can do, there's lots of ways you can take alcohol. You can also take, I'm doing this one-handed so it's probably gonna fly away. You can take your endo ice. Oh yeah, another purpose for endo ice. This is not flammable, I've tried to burn it to make a nice viral video, it won't work. But what you can do is spray it. Spray it. point is let's do this one-handed so you can spray it and then it won't it's almost resistant to bending so you've got like you know 30 seconds to get that got to perch it down and around in that beautiful curved canal and then you got confidence anyways that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If I got a couple courses on the go now, a brand new one called MB2 Hunter. It's at mb2hunter.com for all those little tips and hints. I'm trying to get them those crazy MB2s. And we got a little bit of merch coming. This is, I've got a couple more, what do they call prototypes to see. But if, you know, if you ever forget your wine classification while you're doing your notes, it might be useful to have a mug next to you filled with hopefully coffee only. We'll talk to you soon.